Good morning all. Today I'm going to play with my power conversion breadboard. This is my Muppet 2 project and I'm actually going to build a synchronous buck converter. Now a synchronous buck converter uh, is useful because it's more efficient than a non-synchronous buck converter. So in order to check whether it's actually working we need to measure efficiency. Now I'm going to do that by measuring power at the uh, input side of the buck converter and compare it with power at the output side. On the input I've got a regular power supply. It's um, set to 12 volts. I think we can actually see that. Yeah, 12 volts. Uh, the current, well there's no current flowing at the moment, but the current limit is set to half an amp and I'm going to be measuring power. That's what the P means. Um, so let's switch uh, on, or at least let's raise the pulse width from my Arduino. That's going through the MOSFET driver here. I'm going to set it to 50% mark space ratio. Uh, on the pot here, I'm going to just turn that until we've got the um, sort of arrow line running uh, in the middle. So that's about halfway. We can see that the, uh, on, and the on relative to the off times of this MOSFET are approximately equal. You can see that from the two LEDs, approximately the same brightness. And you can see that my five watt uh, lamp here has lit up. We've got a power reading on the input side of the buck converter, and we've got a power reading on the output side. Now you can see that more power is being consumed at the input than is actually being delivered to the load. So we have losses, we have inefficiency in the buck converter. Now this is this is not a synchronous buck converter, this is a non-synchronous. Um, here's the circuit diagram of a buck converter. We have a switch, that's my MOSFET here, being driven by the MOSFET driver. We have a diode, now this is a regular silicon diode, it's marked 6A10, I think it's 6 amps, 1000 volts. And we have a jolly big inductor. So what I'm going to do today is change this component the diode to various different things. Um, but the first test I want to do, and I'm going to do all, all these tests at 50% mark space ratio. So the first one is the efficiency of the buck converter with a silicon diode, a regular silicon diode. It's going to have a 0.6 to 0.7 volt uh, forward voltage drop. And we have the numbers 1.98 uh, watts at the input and 1.4, about 3, 4 at the output. Let's just do a quick calculation. Um, so output is about 1.43. Let's just do 1.43. I don't need the point because I won't put it in this one. Divided by 1.99 and that equals about 72% efficiency. Right, so leaving the pulse width uh, modulation at 50%, let's try and get uh, better efficiency by changing this diode. In fact, I'm not going to change it initially. I'm just going to put a couple of um, banana plugs on here. And I'm going to take this. Now, this is a Schottky diode. It's a 10SQ045. And of course, the Schottky diode has a lower uh, forward voltage than a regular silicon diode. And I'm just going to sort of slip it in here in parallel with the silicon diode and look at the input power. It's dropped, but look at the output power. It's actually gone up. So uh, we're using less input power and we're getting more output power in the load. That's got to be greater efficiency, hasn't it? Uh, right, so it's bobbing around a bit. That's because we're at 50% mark space, but we've got about 1.52, 152 divided by uh, 184. And we have an efficiency of 82.6%. Let's call it 83. Now I've removed the Schottky diode just in parallel with the silicon diode because I'm going to put this Schottky diode. It's a slightly different one. Um, this one is a 90SQ. 035, but it's shot key. I was going to put that in to replace the silicon diode, but I did wonder what would happen if we had no diode at all. Oh, uh, well, the light's gone out, but interestingly, we're still absorbing um, power on the input side. So we got half a watt there, 528 milliwatts, and yet we're delivering nothing 
to the load so where's that energy going is it going in the mosfet oh actually that mosfet is fairly warm so this uh, circuit with no diode is causing a total loss of uh, half a watt on the input within the circuit it's just not getting to the output now interestingly i noticed that if i turn the pulse width up near the top of the pots travel and I'm this i'm not turning this much that's really the last 10 or 15 percent yes i can get the lamp to come on through the mosfet which is now a hundred percent on the inductor kind of works as a piece of wire here because it's just dc there's no switching now you can see that the um MOSFET driver is fully over to the on side. Yes, that's interesting. You only have to back it off a little way and you get absolutely no power delivery through to the output. So I should add this to my table. No diode at 50%. Let's put that back to 50%. Efficiency, zero. Uh, right, so no diode, 0% efficiency. These are at 50%, I suppose I should. 50% uh, pulse width modulation, I should add that in. Uh, right, I've got the other Schottky diode in there. Uh, we've got 146, approximately 177. That comes to 82.5%. That's not dissimilar from the other Schottky diode. So the two Schottkys are behaving much the same. Now, what other type of diode is there? Well, there's this. It's a MOSFET with its gate and source pins attached together it's a body diode so let's put this body diode in um, now since i've linked gate and source together on this mosfet there is no voltage between gate and source that means there's no electric field inside this field effect transistor and therefore we will get no field effect however mosfets have and a parasitic and intrinsic diode it's called the body diode what type of diode is it well we might get an idea if i tighten these up um, from the efficiency so let's take some uh, numbers here and calculate an efficiency uh, what have we got on the output we've got about 1.40 i'll call it 140 divided by yeah 174 417, no, that's 174. Um, we've got an 80.5% efficiency. Now, I have to say, I'm quite surprised at that. Um, I didn't fully rehearse this. I certainly didn't rehearse the body diode thing. It's not as good as the shock key diode, but it's considerably better than a regular silicon diode. And I thought that the uh, parasitic body diode inside a MOSFET was just a regular silicon diode but its performance is quite a lot better than that interesting